Hi guys, it's Bev here from Corimbia Cottage Permaculture and Craft. I'm here today to show you a little bit about the fruits that we actually dehydrate here on the cottage. So we've had an excess of dragon fruit at the moment. We harvested whites and there's a couple of pinks. You can see the white one has the lighter colour skin. The pink has that lovely rosy pinky colour. So with having a few too many, we've decided dehydrating is probably the best way to keep them. So first we need to chop off the tail of our dragon fruit. Then we'll slice down into the skin, just slightly, not going through all the flesh. And we can just peel that outer skin away. So that would just peel straight off, giving you a nice round dragon fruit. These ones have just been in the fridge overnight, so they're lovely and cold to work with. So nice and firm. Um, then we cut them into around five or six millimetre slices or quarter inch slices, trying to keep them nice and straight. And then once we have a few, we'll put them on the dehydrating sheet. There you go. Once you've got your slices ready, we can get that tray from the dehydrator. What we've used here, we've used baking sheet in our dehydrating. It's a compostable baking sheet. That one, this one here, the Glad Bake seems to be quite good. Uh, we will look around if we can for a better sustainable one, but at this stage this is what we've got. So we put the dragon fruit slices onto the baking sheet, just leaving a little bit of room between them. But usually I'll do the whites all together and then we'll do the pinks. The pinks leave a lovely pinky glow on the baking tray. I think we can fit one more in this little corner here and then pop them into your dehydrator. Our dehydrator comes with plastic sheets or this type of sheet, but we have noticed that the dragon fruits actually work better on the Glad Bake sheet because it, they dehydrate a lot drier and a lot quicker. So I, I, we don't use these sheet. We just take these off and put the Glad Bake on. Now that's the whites all finished, so we're going to cut the pink. Same cutting method, straight down the side, and you can see the different colour there. These are an amazing dragon fruit, and look at the size of it. All grown organically here on the farm. They do taste a little different as well. The pink's got a little bit more flavour than the white. That's the last of our fruit cut up. So loading up all the trays, it's the last of it and they go in so ready to go. Okay, once you've got all your dragon fruit in there, then we can put the dehydrator on. So we're going on at a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. And that will be on for 10 hours. So at the 10 hour mark, just check it. Usually they're pretty dry by then, but it may take another half an hour to another hour. This is the finished product. We had some of these already 
dehydrated up. Then you can use them in your breakfast. You might want to put them in the school lunches. But they dehydrate nice and thin, probably just like a consistency of fruit roll-ups. So that's the pink colour and then the white. Looks a bit different. But once we get some out, you can see it's nice little bits. No, they're not sticky, but they're definitely a little bit chewy. There you go. So just store them in a jar in the cupboard. And wow, something nice to snack on. All the leftover scraps of the dragon fruit will return back to the garden. This will grow more plants. So whatever we have on our property, we make sure it actually stays here. We don't like to waste anything. So all that little bits of scrap will go, actually go back into the garden.